Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a lucky guy. I was born in poverty. Lived in poverty up to 25 years. I was glad I escaped. I survived the slum. The reason I escaped is that I started a business that did well. And since 2005, I've dedicated my life not to escape alone, but to help people escape poverty. I've trained more than 20,000 Ugandans doing so. This is my family. And today it happens so that my firstborn Victor, it sees his birthday. He's 14 years old, but I have a story to tell you. They are not my retirement plan. Thousands of people and millions of them in Africa educate their children and expect them to be their retirement plan. They will look after them when they grow old. They don't save for retirement. And the result is that we have a situation in my country where 85% of the people do not have a retirement savings account. Now I thought that was a problem until I tried to look around and see what was really the problem. It turned out that 15%, 85% don't have a retirement account and only 1% have an, a health insurance policy that can be used on them. So we asked why are they not saving for retirement or why are they not buying these policies? This is what I found. It's a blank policy. They didn't have anywhere to go. The government does not provide you social security. If you grow old, it's not there. You own your own if you do nothing. So we did something incredible. We started Uganda's first micro-pension micro fund in 2016. This fund was the first one to be formed, the second one to be formed in Africa, the first one in Uganda. We currently have 15, 000, uh, 1,500 members on it, and it has savings of 3,000 8, 8, 3, euros on it. It's uh, helping people contribute small amounts, as little as a dollar, we can put them in a, a regulated and licensed fund that is able to give them a return above inflation. So anyone now can open an individual retirement account. And then we found that, yes, this is important, but they started asking us for other services that we had to provide. So guess what? What we did is we developed another product, a platform that could help us onboard uh, health insurance for them. Because the technology that we were using, the platforms were not working, so we have developed a platform where with a simple card reader at the hospital, you are able to issue somebody a card that has his retirement wallet, but it also has his wealth wallet. So they can be able to either fund their retirement wallet or fund their health wallet, or choose to do both or do one of them. So that's the tech platform that we are using. And so, so we make money on the assets under management that we, we, we sell on the fund, 2.5%. Uh, we use that to pay the, the fund manager and the, and the custodian. But we also sell insurance policies on that and make 10% on every policy we sell and card insurance fees. But these services, these card readers and fingerprint scanners are free to the hospitals. So the hospitals can be able to validate the, the cards if they need to offer someone services. We also offer um, uh, funding for our, our people that are buying health insurance so they can be able to pay the annual premium. We pay the annual premium so they can pay us slowly uh, over uh, up to six months because we already have means and, uh, to, to work with uh, uh, mobilizing these savings. Um, this is where uh, what we need over the next uh, six months. We need to raise half, uh, half a million uh, euros. We serve up to 10,000 members by then, and by 2020, the revenues would shoot up to about uh, $2 million. Basically, funding the health insurance capital pool and also marketing and distribution and our operations. My team is a strong team. We are really driven by helping people sustain the progress they have made out of poverty. Um, and, and we really have more a core technology team, and I'm also quite a passionate guy, and uh, my CFO has 20 years. He's a chartered, uh, a chartered accountant. Uh, and so, so this is a goal. Our goal is to help poor, make sure that we put social security on the agenda in financial inclusion. Because the, uh, the goal, if we do not secure people right now, we get them out of poverty, and th what will make them poor will be old age, because they won't be able to be able to work. And if there is anything after escaping poverty that scares me at night, I never want to be poor again. Thank you very much. Wow.